Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Miss Days Life, and I'm back with a video. Hey, hey, kings and queens. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing today? Hey, kings and queens. Happy holidays to you guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Uh, I'm sorry I'm at MIA. Had to take care of some family business. You know, school started doing with the homeschooling. You have to take care of family first. And I'm homeschooling ass kids here in this house, so... Well, actually, I'm homeschooling eight because one don't go to school. But anywho, how y'all doing today? How's y'all homeschooling going, kings and queens? I hope it's going good, and I hope y'all having a lovely day. But yeah, now it's time to get back into the videos. Because it's Miss Lene, and y'all know I got something to say. Okay? <laughs> okay. As y'all can see, I know y'all see my girl Chrissy got a pie that was lost. She got a little pie back. Strong mommy Chrissy did. Yeah, I know Reese like made a whole motherfucking film, movie, about Chrissy's mysterious pie. And has she lied? Okay. Has she lied about it? Reese been over there having fun. Yeah, haven't she? Been having fun sitting on the end of that bed. Can't go nowhere but to the end of that bed. Because, baby, if she leave out that room, she might shit on herself. But, oh, God, please forgive me for that. But, anyway. Yes. She got to sit close to that motherfucking bathroom. For you to sit on her Reese life, you did all that. You talked all that shit. You was congratulating Live Life. To my Live Life doing this, Live Life doing that. Gerard never leave Live. Gerard never do this to Live. But what the fuck did Gerard do to Live? Even though we really don't know because we on the outside looking in. You don't even know what Gerard did to Live. So, but not Live and put what she put out there. And now you want to down Live. At first you was congratulating Live, starting shit between Live and Chrissy now. But now you trying to down Olivia now. Reese life, okay? Now, now you want to down Olivia. And now you probably over there looking stupid now. Since Chrissy got her pie, now you probably looking real fucking stupid. You probably really look, looking real fucking stupid now. So the next topic, you could, only thing you could talk about now is strong mommy Chrissy husband and a new baby. He a piece of shit anyway. It ain't like strong mommy Chrissy missing nothing. The man is a piece of shit. He don't even take care of her three boys. What the fuck makes you think he gonna take care of the other baby? He gonna run just like he ran with the other kids. Okay. Okay, Reese Life. That's the only thing you're gonna make a topic in next about strong mommy Chrissy and the new baby. Who gives a fuck? Nobody. She got her own problems to worry about. She got nine motherfucking kids over there she gotta take care of. It's pathetic because, yeah, this, like they say, this is not nothing but YouTube. It's pathetic for y'all grown women to sit on her and dig into these women's lives. Y'all dicks. Y'all straight dicks. Y'all straight fine people stay right next door to them. Probably be talking to the mailman, the pizza man. Fuck a, hell, you probably even fucking call the food stamp people and pretend like you them. To get some fucking clout. It don't make no motherfucking reason. Like, I mean, you just... I say, girl, you, you can get a motherfucking Grammy from digging the people's shit. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you wasn't the one who called CPS on my jazzy life. I believe you the one who did it. Because guess what? You sit back and you digs in they fucking background. You worried about who she dating. You worried about this. You worried about that. You worried about too much reason life. Okay? You need to worry about yourself and your own motherfucking problems. That's what you need to worry about. Okay? Okay? Instead of worrying about my jazzy life, you need to worry about yourself. Instead of worrying about strong mommy Chrissy and live life, you need to worry about yourself and your problems you have going on in your background. Yeah, I'm so focused on my jazzy life. Like they said, this is not nothing. Everybody be coming in my comments, yeah, this ain't shit but YouTube. This is nothing but YouTube. It's for the entertainment. Okay, it's for, if it's for the entertainment, then why are they hotlining that girl? Why did y'all actually send CPS to this girl house? If it's for the entertainment, why are y'all sending CPS to this girl house? How y'all know she ain't putting on no front? How y'all know my jazzy life ain't doing this for the entertainment? So for somebody to send CPS to that girl house, that is fucked up. I got so mad, I just was, oh Jesus, I wanted to make a video so bad, but I was in the middle of helping the kids. It's ridiculous for this girl to have to get straight CPS called to her fucking house and her kids to get, for a baby to get questioned like that, whoever did that shit, and I think, I really do believe Reese Life did that because this bitch I always tell me she got receipts for everything. For this bitch to call CPS on that lady and her daughter, she wrong as a motherfucker. And they call out her oldest daughter name, Pacific. Her oldest daughter. They ain't want to talk to nobody else but the older kids. If you did or you didn't do it, Reese Life, you's a dirty motherfucker. 
Yeah, wrong is a motherfucker. Whoever calls CPS on that girl, y'all some stupid motherfuckers. Y'all some ignorant son of a bitch. Y'all really is, and y'all wrong for that shit. Y'all need to try to help. If Jazzy was going through something, y'all need to lend out a hand. That's why I'm saying y'all don't never try to help these women. Y'all always down in these women. Sometimes it's good to give a hand. It's okay. You're not going to get in trouble from getting the hand out. You're not. Nothing's going to happen to you if you help somebody. Quit down in women. Quit calling CPS on these women. Stop the shit. Stop the shenanigans. That's why y'all wonder why don't nobody let y'all in their households and, and want y'all in their personal business. Because for what? So you bitches can have something to say? Or you bitches can try to hotline somebody? Or you bitches can try to find out any little knot, even if it's a stretch on the wall or a stretch on your TV. Oh, look that stretch on the TV. Look that stretch on the wall. Look that stretch on the table. It's a piece of candy wrapper on the floor. Yeah, I bought the nosiest motherfucking reacting subscribers. You know what? Not the subscribers. I'm not talking about y'all. Y'all ain't one day one loyal. But you motherfucking reactors, y'all yeah, about the nosiest sad hoes I ever seen. If you bitches doing this for entertainment, then I want to see what you bitches do in real life. Because the way y'all doing these women is fucked up. Now everybody on her making videos about Chrissy because they mad because she got her pie back. Oh, Boo-hoo, bitches. You thought the girl was lying, but she wasn't. Now y'all looking fucking stupid. Then Reese life, okay. You thought the grass was always green on the other side. Mm -mm, boo boo. Nope, it's not. Dry just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. And clown chasers. I just have to throw you bitches in here because guess what? You bitches are pathetic. I'm not going to never, ever make no videos about you. After I think that video Jackie made kissing, kissing Francois ass. Kissing Francis ass like love lies and lace friends. Yeah, y'all know who Francis is. Go check out her video. I might not agree with what she say, but go check out her video, the one she made about Jackie, the clout chasers. It's pathetic. It's pathetic, Jackie, for you for you to be a grown ass when you you sat here and you talked about strong mommy Chrissy so bad. You talked about them about what they were, how they look, how naked they be, how this, how that. But you actually sat in here and took a whole motherfucking five minute shower. Naked on camera, but you call yourself a grown woman. You like sixty or seventy years old, pushing sixty or seventy, and you sitting on camera taking showers and shit. But you married to a sheriff, girl. When no sheriff have your ass, bitch. You a single ass woman. You fuck me up when she says she married to a sheriff. The sheriff wouldn't have this bitch. If you was married to a sheriff, your sheriff husband wouldn't let you take no motherfucking shower like that for the whole public to see his wife. So, bitch, quit lying. Talking about you a sheriff, bitch, you're not a sheriff. You, you're not married to a sheriff. You're not. Stop lying, Jackie. You've never been married. Ever. You was just used. That's it. Like a little dog. That's it. You was just used. That's it. Used. Used. That's all they did was use you. And for you to say, queen's husband in the army. <laughs> I'm done. I'm just fucking done with it. Y'all two fucked up individuals. And you, you probably jealous of Queen because she actually has mixed kids and you don't. And then you got so upset when somebody talked about, took took pictures of your, your actual kids and put them up. But then put pictures of your mixed kids up. What type of person are you to say that? Yeah, I show pictures of my black kids, but y'all ain't show pictures of my uh, mixed kids. You're very racist and you're wrong for what you said. And that was very down disgrading to your kids. That was very disrespectful to your daughter. And for her to sit on the side of you and let you talk like that around her, it's fucked up. For If she even is or ain't your daughter, for her to even sit there and let you talk like that about black people, period, is pathetic. You're very racist and it's sad. Have you looked in the mirror and seen what color you was, Jackie? I don't think you have. I don't think you have. But it's sad. And I'm going to leave it at that. Stop taking showers in front of the camera. Don't nobody want to see the nasty shit. It's pathetic. You talk about strong mommy Chrissy, but you doing the same shit. Don't nobody want to see that shit. But anywho, back to the basics. Y'all need to leave these women alone. Mind your own fucking business. Because all of you bitches are miserable. Mind your business. Take care of your own relationship, your own kids. And it's homeschooling time. Now y'all having time to look at these videos and do all that when y'all got to homeschool kids. Take the time out with your kids. Raise your kids. Oh, and for the smart bitch who came in my comment, to my some, stop having babies. Stop doing this. 
You don't have to take her. I'm the government don't have to take her. Don't nobody have to take her but Miss Lene. I got something to say. I'm the only one. Bitch, check my profile. The government ain't taking care of them. I'm taking care of them myself. So before you come in my comment, do your research and have your receipts. Okay. Till next time, YouTube. Take care. Yeah, enjoy your day. And have a nice night. I mean, have a nice day. Sorry, because I just woke up. So have a nice day. Bye.